it's interesting to watch a model do chain of thought and then suppose it's trying to solve a math problem. It'll say, okay, I'm going to approach this problem using this approach at first. And it'll write this out and be like, oh, wait, I just realized this is the wrong conceptual way to approach the problem. I'm going to restart by this another approach. And that flexibility does exist in context, right? I'm just saying they don't have a, have a uh, uh, in any meaningful sense, they don't have a prediction of what will happen next. And they will not be surprised by what happened next. And they'll not make any changes if if something happens. But isn't that is that isn't based that, on what happens? Isn't that literally what next token prediction is? Prediction about what's no, no, next, and then updating on the surprise. Next token is what they should say, what the actions should be. It's not what the world will give them in response to what they do. Let's let's go back to the uh, their lack of goal. Mm -hmm. For me, having a goal is the essence of intelligence. Right. Something is intelligent if it can achieve goals. I like John McCarthy's definition that intelligence is the computational part of the ability to achieve goals. Yeah. So you have to have goals. Or you're you're not. You're just. You're just. You're just a behaving system. You're not. You're not anything special. You're not intelligent. Right. And you agree that large language models don't have goals. I think they have, no. They have a goal. What's the goal? Next token prediction. That's not a goal. It doesn't it? It doesn't change the world. Uh, you know, I think the tokens this, come this, at you, and if you predict them, you don't influence them. Oh yeah, I, I, it's not a goal about the external world. Yeah, it's not a goal. It's not a substantive goal. It's not. You can't look at a system and say, "Oh, it uh, has a goal." If it's just sitting there predicting and being happy with itself that it's predicting yeah. accurately. I, I guess maybe the bigger question I want you uh, I want to understand is why you don't think doing RL on top of LLMs is a productive direction because we, we seem to be able to give these models a goal of solving difficult math problems and they're in many ways um, at the very peaks of human level in in the capacity to solve math lumpia type problems, right? They got gold at IMO. So it seems like the, the model which got gold at the International Math Olympia does have the goal of getting math problems, right? Um, so why can't we extend this to different domains? Well, the math problems are different. Um, the, and making a model of the physical world and uh, carrying out the consequences of mathematical um, assumptions or operations, right. those are very different things. Like the, the empirical world has to be learned. You have to learn the consequences, um, whereas the, uh, the math is, is more just computational. It's more like standard planning. So, so there you can, you can, um, they can have a goal to, to, um, uh, to find the proof. And they are in, in some way given that goal to find the, the proof. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks.